Hey everyone, uh, my name's Ruby and we are back. This is going to be week two of the PGBL season three and this is really, really exciting. So we're going up against Grim, aka Grim Who, aka Grimberly, and he is coach of the Motown Marowax. Now, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. I think we match up decently well. I think we match up really well, actually. I think we do kind of have the matchup in this game, but he has a very, very scary team and the Dragonite alone, we've been 6-0'd by Dragonite in the past. Right here i really really like the way this team kind of feels to me i really think electros can do a lot of things electros can mostly just beat the team on its own with a set that i have i really do expect a lot of things from that my inferno can also kind of put the team on its back the things that i'm kind of watching out for are just the pidgeot kind of wrecking house on me with no guard and that type of stuff and i really did want pidgeot man i'm kind of still upset about not being able to get pidgeot for the season but i am happy with what i got right now and uh I think we're gonna take a. I think we're just gonna start right now. Let's see. We see the Jirachi, Snorlax, Primarina, Pidgeot, Magmortar, and uh, Mamoswine. So right off the bat, and right off the bat, that means no Dragonite, which is wild. And no Minior, which is very very nice. Uh, no Trevenant, no Skunk Tank. That's all interesting. But, uh, Zygarde does kind of have a field day a little bit with this team. Okay. So, I should do some writing down of this team. Let's see. Infernape, Lee, Eel, Zydog, Finny, Registeel, Jirachi, Snorlax, Pidgeot, Magmortar, Mamoswine, and Primarina. So, okay, part of me just really wants to lead off with the Choice Banded Zygarde. But realistically, I should probably lead off with the Rocks lead here. But I do kind of want to leave my Registeel for later on in the match. I don't know. I'm going to lead... Yeah, okay. I'm going to lead Zydog. No, I shouldn't. Oh man, I really hope I don't run out of time on this one. Okay, hopefully I didn't run out of time, but uh, I'm just gonna hit him with the good luck, have fun. Now this is a fully, a, a nearly fully specially defensive Reggie Steel, and um, my Zygarde is banded, and um, my Finny is pretty much fully uh, physically defensive. Um, I, like I said, I think we match up pretty darn well here. I think we match up pretty darn well here. It's just going to be a matter of... Okay, just the Mammoth Swine lead. That seems fine to me. I can't uh, Thunder Wave this thing, so that's unfortunate. But I just kind of want to get off... Hmm, I don't know. He, he's going to set up Rock's turn one, which really just makes me want to Iron Head turn one. But also, I mean, Eel would be the kind of obvious switch in. Maybe I should just let him set up Rock's, go for the Iron Head, and then go into Eel. Maybe that's the play in that situation. If I go into Eel, what would be his switch in? I'm not sure what his switch in would be. Probably the Mag Mortar, I would imagine. I'm just going to click Iron Head. I think it just sets up rocks and... Uh, oh, just goes for the Earthquake turn one. Okay, so we should take this decently well, but uh, that's pretty unfortunate, turn one. I really, really did think that he was just going to set up rocks, but uh, we will get some Iron Head damage off, and uh, if this prevents him from getting... Oh, that does a lot of damage. That's a crit. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate, but if this prevents him from getting up rocks, then um, I would be decently happy with that. Now, I'm going to do what I said turn two, and I'm going to... As obvious as it might be, he might just knock off predicting my Electros to come in, but I think I have to just bring my Electros in right now. He's going to withdraw. He's going to withdraw, which is interesting. Now, this is the moment where I really do wish I could find the um, move slot for for U-turn um, or Volt Switch on this Electros, but I felt like I had to rock out with the moveset that I have. I have Wild Charge. Thunder Wave, Drain Punch, and Knock Off. Now, obviously, I'm going to go with the Knock Off. I still don't know what this Jirachi would be, but my biggest fear is just the standard uh, Choice Scarf Jirachi set. Um, 
I don't know how Grim likes to play his Jirachi at all, but anytime I see Jirachi, that's my first thought, and that's I feel like that's what I have to prioritize most in this situation. And if he's gonna give me a chance to knock off a a choice scarf or leftovers or an assault vest or something like that, I think that's going to be huge, huge, huge in this match. I'm still kind of shook about that uh, turn one EQ. I guess, to be fair, he was thinking the exact same thing that I was thinking, right? Like, clearly, I'm going to go for rocks, so I might as well go for the earthquake when I was thinking, oh, clearly he's going to go for rocks, so I might as well go for the iron head on this play. But um, I had to check to make sure that I confirmed my play. But yeah, no, my play is confirmed. Um, he's just taking a while to think about this. I think he's realizing now that uh, that Electros just kind of does the, does the stuff to his team. He, he really doesn't have... So, a solid switch into Electros. And if he just wants to expect me to go for the Thunderbolt or something like that, uh, he doesn't have a good switch into that. But uh, I kind of expected the Trevenant to come. But even if the Trevenant came, I would be able to knock that off decently well. In comes the Snorlax, which is perfectly fine with me. I will be able to knock off I, what I'm going to assume is a Leftover or, or an Eye Papa Berry. Bright Powder. What? This man's okay. Well, now I just got a drain punch. After seeing how much damage that knockoff did, we do outspeed. We were EV to outspeed Pre Marina. We come pretty darn close to even going to take it out, but uh, could just go for the body slam. We are, I believe, we're really spe physically defensive, but judging by that damage, it looks like we're uh, really specially defensive. I'm going to check on that myself. Yeah, no, specially defensive would make more sense as uh, just as a switch into Pidgeot, but I'll. I'll, I'll verify that. I'll verify that. And I'm at the point where a knockoff should be able to take him out, so, I, so I'll probably go for that just to be safe. Um, let's see here. Oh, that's right. I didn't put any any investment because I wanted to make this thing really offensive. So I so I made this thing adamant, right? So, okay, so here's the, so here's the deal. I'm max HP, 252 in HP. 100 speed to speed creep that Primarina. And uh, 156 adamant. Uh in order to just kind of hit hard but i don't know does he even have a switch in a drain punch because i might just do that he really doesn't have a switch in a drain punch he really doesn't have a switch in a drain punch i think he's gonna oh no he doesn't let this thing go down so i'm kind of kicking myself for not going for that knockoff although this is going to do a very decent amount of damage and i'm going to get a very decent amount of hp back as well okay so i'm gonna have to assume and with all that recovery, I'm gonna have to assume that we're well out of range of being able to for him to Oko me. And Wild Charge is gonna be doing the most here. But I'm gonna verify that. Let's see. According to my Electros set, Electros custom set against a Pidgeot. Mega Pidgeot. Oh my god, Wild Charge kinda just wreck shop here. I, I mean, I'm going to have to go for it. Even if I take myself out to recoil. Mm, I don't want to take myself out to recoil when this thing does so much work against the rest of his team. Realistically, I mean, I guess it only I only really need it for the Primarina. But how else am I dealing with the Primarina? Realistically. Oh, of course, I have Poisonium Z on the on the Infernape. So here's the other thing, right? I could Thunder Wave uh, this thing right now. I could Thunder Wave this thing right now. Would that be worth it? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wild charge here. I'm just gonna wild charge here. He's now he's gonna get a big hit off, don't get me wrong. But that big hit is probably yeah, that big hit's probably gonna put me in a position where I take myself out to my own recoil. There's the hurricane. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but I think we're well out of range of being able to take oof, okay. Oh, and I get confused. It is a 30% chance. Okay, we don't hit ourselves. That would have been real bad. That would have been real bad. But we do get the wild charge off. We do get the wild charge off. Um, that's pretty much the biggest threat that I was concerned about. Out of the way, pretty darn early. So I'm wondering... Realistically, I guess his play would be to bring in Mamoswine and Icicle Crash me. Yeah, 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 there's the play. Okay, so is there anything that I do against this? I could bring in Finny. Actually, yeah, I'd definitely bring in Finny. 
I super bring in Finny. Okay, so I made Finny max physically defensive. What did I do that for? Oh, I did that for Dragonite. Do I need this Finny against anything really? I mean, it'd be really helpful against maybe the Snorlax. Also, probably the Jirachi. But I should be able to deal with the Jirachi fine. Yeah, I'll just I'll just burn my Finny right now. And and to be fair, I don't think this is really burning my Finny when I'm so physically defensive and I'll be able to uh, take hits as well as my Finny will be able to. I think that'll be fine. I think that'll be fine. Realistically, I think this thing can sit here. Oh, it goes for the rock slide. So could this thing be like banded? Oh man, I didn't even think about banded because of the Registeel damage, but that's not unlikely. Although that damage makes me think not. Although I should look into it. To be fair, I should look into it. I'm so defensive that it's worth looking into. Custom set Finny against a Mamoswine. This is I don't know, the rock slide just makes me think scarfed, like, right off the bat, but I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Rock slide. It's supposed to do from about 24 to 29 points of damage, which does seem about right, which would suggest that this is not invested at all. Could this be, like, some defensive, like, some defensive set? I guess not. No, no, because even if he's max attack, I should be doing 29 to 35 points of damage. Which looks about right. I'm just going to scald. Yeah, there's no reason not to just scald right now. Oh, I also need to keep in mind that this thing should uh, defog later, so... Um, that I definitely have to keep in mind. So I can't burn this Jirachi, unfortunately, on this incoming scald, but I'm curious to see how much damage we do to it. Okay, not a whole lot. However, I'm not sure. Would this thing, like, Thunder Punch me? Because I'm fairly certain we take a Thunder Punch fine. I'm just gonna hit it with another Scald. I don't think there's a reason to switch out in this situation. Because he could absolutely Thunder Punch me, but I'm not concerned. Let's see, Jirachi. Jirachi. I mean, he could Iron Head me, which is, uh, not ideal. I really should have packed um, knockoff as my fourth move on this thing. I really should have. Iron head, Zen headbutt. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal. Crit. Okay. We don't flinch. And uh, that skull is looking like. Ah, unfortunately, it's a it's a four hit. But let's take a look at that Zen headbutt damage, right? This is max attack, so probably Scarfed. He probably didn't want to go for the Thunder Punch because of my Zygarde, and probably didn't want to go for Iron Head because of my Infernape. And uh, realistically, yeah, Zen Headbutt does, does a lot of work to my team, except for my Tapu Fini, which can just sit here and uh, fire off some Scalds right now. It was for the withdrawal, so that, that again, just screams Scarf to me. I am 100% certain that this thing is Scarfed, as he just goes for the uh, Primarina play. Now, this thing can Moonblast me, right? I don't have that many plays to a Moonblast uh, right now. Registeel could come in. Registeel could come in right now. But that doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Let me think this through. I think I have to switch out here. Hmm. Let me see. Because, well, no, that doesn't do anything for me because, um... Ooh, burns the Twinkle Tackle on my Registeel. Burns the Twinkle Tackle on my Registeel. That is interesting. 
So I will be giving up my Registeel right now. Oh, I went blank set. Registeel. So that screams like max special attack, even though I'm not going to be able to really tell. But, uh, oh no, we take it. We are really, really specially defensive, and uh, we just took that like a dang champion. Uh, I believe we're at like 43 HP or something like that, which suggests we should be able to take a Moonblast, but he's going to scald next turn anyway. So that's not really, uh, that's not really relevant in this moment. But 100% just burns a Twinkle Attack. I, I don't think I'm going to ever be able to get up rocks in this situation. But uh, let me think this through. He's going to Scald right now. That's a given. What does Moonblast do? Oh my god, Moonblast with max HP on its own does max 27 points of damage. Okay, so I have to switch out or give up this Registeel, which is fine. I could give up the Registeel since that's what I was doing anyway. But I think this could be just a moment to switch into... Does... Does Electros take a Scald? Does Electros take a Scald? Probably. I'm going to switch into Electros here. And again, another moment where it would have been freaking fantastic to be able to um, Volt Switch out of here, but I don't think I'm going to get that chance. I don't think I'm going to get that chance. Okay. That didn't go the way that I thought it would. That's interesting. So, what what am I doing wrong on this Primarina Calc? If that Scald was able to take me out from that range, because I'm clearly doing something wrong. I don't know. Oh, have I, have I been missing Life Orb? No, I can't. Of course, because of the. Because of the Zemu. I don't know. I feel like it's time to just bring this thing in and, and go for the Poisonium Z. However, I don't want to make that same play and uh, and get baited into a Z move. So what would be his switch into the Z move? Jirachi would be the obvious switch into the Z move, but he wouldn't be in a position to do that because... I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I double switch into into um, my Tapu Fini. Let's see what happens. Because me bringing that in, he has to know that I have Gunk Shot, and I don't want to just burn my Z-move like that. Um, even though, yeah, there was no reason for me not to, I guess. Just goes for the Scald, okay. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm a little bit confused, okay. I've. Either way, I felt like I had to make that play because burning the Z-move into a Jirachi would have been not ideal. Uh, I should be able to just pump Moonblast into this thing. And... And, uh, realistically, as soon as my Hitmonlee gets in here, I think Hitmonlee is in a very good position. I also kind of wish I'd Calm Mind in, the, in these types of moments, but it wasn't the best matchup for Calm Mind, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Being able to let that Dragonite freely set up on me was kind of scary. I just have Toxic on this, but realistically, I shouldn't do that in the future because of uh, the Misty Surge. I should rethink that in general. There's the Special Defense drop. So, I think if anything, this is the moment to go back into my Infernape. And now, I get to see any potential calcs on this thing. If he goes for Scald, he's a god. 
He's a god if he goes for Scald. But, um, we should take a Moonblast. Okay. She goes for the Shadow Wall, that's fine. Yeah, we are Naive Nature once again. A little bit unfortunate, but I wanted to be able to at least take one, maybe two Iron Heads um, and be fine with it. I don't know, maybe an Extreme Suit from a Dragonite. That was my thinking. Either way, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pop Gunk Shot. Or Z Gunk Shot. Um, I should have done it earlier. It would have preserved so much health on my Tabu Fini. It was... It was a bad play on my part. Totally bad play. Now my Fini is really injured for no real reason. Um, it, but realistically, realistically... No, no, it was just 100% a mistake on my part because my Fini would have been able to... Would have been able to 1v1 that scarfed Jirachi just with Skulls. It was a mistake on my part, 100%. But I, again, I really didn't want to be put in a position where he switches into the Jirachi to eat the Z uh, gunk shot. So let's see, in comes this thing. I could... Huh, how much... I think I'd probably just give up my Infernape here. So, okay, if I give up my Infernape, right? If I give up my Infernape... If I give up my Infernape, then... Well, first of all, this thing has to be Scarfed in order to uh, really do the thing to me, right? And how much damage am I doing with a Mag Mortar? To a Mag Mortar? Close Combat does a lot of damage to a Mag Mortar. If this thing is also Scarfed, then um, that would present an interesting opportunity. Okay, let me think this through. Although, what would my switch in here be? I could just switch in the Fini to let in the... the... Um, Hitmonlee, but I don't think that's necessary. I think it's just more important to get off that close combat damage. Bring it down to to what, like thirty percent? Ooh, this. No, that's that. That I guess is about right. This thing probably has a little bit of HP investment. This thing probably has a little bit of HP investment. But this does allow my Zygarde in. And I now have to be sure that my Zygarde, as it's built, would be able to take a Zen Headbutt from a Jirachi. But either way, this is Banded Thousand Arrows. If he wants to go into his uh, Mammoth Swine, then I can switch out and back in for extreme speed. Um, yeah, he's probably letting this go down so that I can... So that he can bring in the Mammoth Swine. Or, again, in fairness, that Jirachi as well. I did definitely think about scarfing this thing, but I didn't. And a scarf in this situation would would have been exactly what I needed. Okay, so do we take a Zen Headbutt? Max attack, adamant. Adamant scarf. We take a Zen Headbutt, fine. We take an... Oh, but this thing probably has uh, Ice Punch. If it does have Ice Punch, then... If it does have Ice Punch, then... Um, the Finny Switch... I mean, either way, the Fanny Switch has got to be my play. But, um, especially in the situation where the Ice Punch is very likely, uh, I have to do this. I'm still kicking myself over letting my Finny get this hurt. And, uh, oh, okay. So, um, it never actually mattered because Zygarde took that Iron Head no matter what. I wasn't paying attention to damage, but, um... 
Let's see if we get taken out in this situation. Yes, okay, so let me take a look at something. Okay. Okay, let me think about this end game right now. So, if I bring in the hit only, hit only guarantees outspeed this on with uh, even through scarf. I can close combat. No, I shouldn't do that. Definitely should not do that because of the ice shard. Um, I can knock off and then take an ice shard, take out the mammoth swine. I win. If I go into Zygarde, I take uh, I take an iron head, take out this thing. Ice Shard takes me out. Wait, there's a third Pokemon he has left? What's his third Pokemon he has left? Let me look at my notes. Oh, Snorlax. Snorlax is on like 10% uh, left. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, I can just... Man, if I could th extreme speed this thing, I'd be in fantastic shape, but I can't. I just have to take the Iron Head. And, um, from there, if I don't flinch... Okay, we flinch. Neat. Okay. That's actually not ideal. Okay, now... Now this differential is going to, uh be unfortunate, but it's fine. Let me see here. Wait, no. I might have just choked this game. I might have just choked this game. Because... My... Hitmonlee is not going to get the boost unless... Well, no, 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 it, no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine because, um... My Zygarde can come back in and extreme speed the Mammoth Swine and this thing. Okay. I swear I almost choked this game. I swear I almost choked this game. If Now, this thing, like, crits me and takes me out, then I actually lost. But, um... But I think as it stands right now, we can just knock off here. And... Him only gets that KO. Then the then the mammoth swine comes in for the ice shard, but even if this thing gets taken out, even if this thing gets taken out, I can extreme speed, and then that should also take out the Snorlax. And even if it doesn't, um, and even if it doesn't, I'll be able to bring back in the hit only and close combat it. And that should be the game. So actually, he, he could bring it down to... He goes for the Icicle Crash, so no Ice Shard. That's interesting. That's interesting. But either way, I don't think it matters at this point. I think we can just win, although I definitely almost choked this game away. We definitely almost choked this game away. Um, yeah, Bandit Extreme Speed should do this dang thing. And then, yeah, like I said, I believe the Snorlax is on, like, 10-ish percent or something like that.
yeah, more than enough for Bandit Extreme Speed to once again get me the final few KOs and win me the game. That was a nuts game. If I had actually choked away that game, I would have um, been really upset with myself. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back again with more PGL NU Cup and more PGBL battles really, really soon. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about how the season will go. We are 2-0 and right now, and I desperately, desperately just want to make a run here. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be once again, out.